Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my Wickham Wanderers career mode. And last episode, we put an offer in for Tuba Akbom and Endoy, I think it was, from Atletico Madrid. Um, so if we manage to get those, that would be absolutely sick. Uh, we need to kind of pick up some defenders or something, but we got a few free agent centre backs. Uh, we got to Jeju, and we also got Tyus uh, Browning, which was on a free, so. Pretty nice signings there. Uh, we need to strengthen up the uh, midfield um, afterwards, but we got to see what we're left with, how much money we're left with, and stuff like that. But for the first game, we're going to be jumping in against Anderlecht. Anderlecht are a very, very strong team, so I'm not really expecting anything else apart from a loss right now. Um, so let's go in with our strongest team and see what we come out with. Right, let's try and get this into a good area here. Pretty good area there. Go on. Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to shoot then. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, good save. Good save, Ingram. I like that. Go on, F-frame. Oh, what a goal! Oh, my God! Where did that come from? Generally, I just shot because I was going to get tackled, but that was a sick goal! Oh, my God. What a goal, F-frame. Go on, get a nice header there. That'll do. Pass it about a bit. So He's free. Little ball inside there. Ah, oh, good tackle. Oh no, Bloomfield's won that. Keep passing. McClure! Ah, oh, unlucky McClure. Unlucky. Went for the near post there. I don't feel I would have found the far post. Little cut inside. Have a go. Ref! Ref! It's a penalty. Come on. Well done, McClure. Paul Hayes is stepping up for this. Come on. Let's get a nice pen here. Bottom left. Say no more. Ah, oh, he's good save. Good save. That was right in the corner as well. DM son. Come on, Jacobson, get there. No. Oh, that could have been a pen. Slide. Oh, what a tackle. Yes, well defended. Come on, Paul Hayes. Make a... oh, he's made a terrible run again. He's not very good at making runs at all. McClure's got some space here. Cut inside. Whip that. Okay. <laughs> Never whip that again, okay? Plus... Okay, that was actually a good half from Wickham there. Really happy with that half. Uh, pretty strong as well. We could be 2-0, seeing as we did have a penalty. Uh, but I'm happy with 1-0. We're playing under which is a very, very strong team. So if we get anything out of this game, I'd be happy. But if, even if we don't, it's a good performance so far. Oh, no. Tyus Browning got stuck right under that. Ah, oh, Damn, Jeju nearly got there. Uh, but that's a good finish there, near post. Ingram could have maybe had his near post covered there, um, but we can't complain. It's just a route one ball. Tyus Browning got really stuck underneath it. I don't know what happened there. I just pressed A to header, uh, but for some reason he just, I don't know. Let me have a look. Yeah, he, he kind of like ran into the guy, um, but we no, we can't complain. We're playing Anderlecht. The edge, someone get out to him. Get out to him. No, Jacobson, you got turned. No, oh, that's a goal. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Got turned inside. I went in with a sliding tackle to block the cross, but he cut inside with a nice fake um, turn. So nice finish there. Uh, we're kind of on the rails now. They're coming into the game a lot, so we got to try and hold on. Don't want to make it too of a one-sided game, but we've we've played well, um, so I'm going to take positives out of this game. Come on, McClure. Oh, I'm leaving their post. I could have took that in. I didn't realise I had so much space. Okay, there we go. That's the end of the game. Uh, we lost 2-1, but I'm happy with the performance. That's one good thing because seeing as our other friendlies are against strong teams as well, um, and the performances just wasn't very good. So to actually have a good performance against a good team, uh, we did lose 2-1, but it is Anderlecht, <laughs> which is a very, very strong team. Uh, but I'm happy to come out uh, with a good performance there. Um, so let's just fast forward through. Here we go, Tuba Akpom has accepted his contract, so let's accept the offer there. And that is that. We have Tuba Akpom up in here. Now this is going to add a big bit onto our attacking force here because pace, that is the main thing here because if you have a look at Akpom's pace, 86 sprint speed, like come on. In League 2, he's going to demolish everyone. And then the fact that he is... 18 years old. He's going to progress with the team through the leagues as we go. Uh, so I'm really happy with that pickup. 
Okay, so I've took a dip into the free agents here, basically because we've lost all our transfer fee, because we splashed it out on Akpom. Um, I need a CDM, because basically all my players are centre midfielders. Um, so we need a good CDM, who's used to the position. Um, and I like the look of this guy, he's 20 years old and he's 6 foot 1. But his stats don't look amazing, but seeing as he is 20 years old and 6 foot 1, his physical stats are amazing, like the strength, the sprint speed, I'm, I'm going to approach to sign this guy because I think it's going to be a good, oh wow, 1,000 wages as well. Say no more, we're getting this guy. So this guy here, I don't even know how to say that first name, but Lingdo, he looks a beast generally. His physical stats are amazing, but then his short passing also is amazing as well. And he's a centre attacking midfielder where we need to pick up a few players in that position as well. So. We're going to get this guy, he is age 27, so he is getting to the cliff uh, where they start to decrease. But if we get a nice run going with him, he might actually get some form and start increasing. Uh, there's quite a n few nice free agents on here, like Makinios. Look at this guy. He looks absolutely beast, but the wages are too much. So unfortunately, we can't actually try and invest in these guys. Uh, but we can... Ah, uh, 4,000, okay. Too much money again. Uh, so we've got two players there that we could pick up, hopefully, on free agents. Uh, so let's see how that goes. Okay, so they've both actually declined their offers. Um, Lingdo actually says that there's too many in my squad that play the position. Uh, so that's a little bit weird. Um, so let's just make him an imp important first team player. Seeing as he is going to be playing because he's the only player I've got in the centre attacking midfield position. And this guy just wants to know his role. So let's just put him as important as well because we don't actually have a CDM either. So let them know that they're actually going to be playing in those positions pretty much all the time. Um, so we're coming up into our first game here in League 2. Um, I can't actually wait for this. Our team isn't how I want it to be right now. We've got a little bit of the transfer window to go. Uh, if we could pick up those free agents, I'll, I'll be happy with what we've done in this transfer window. But let's get into the game, first game against a quality team that is around the same as ours instead of it being like Anderlecht and all these players that are just far too good for our team. So unfortunately we didn't have the best of a um, like a pre-season but hopefully we can just kick it off with this first game okay so here we go kicked off in our first game hopefully we can do a nice performance here got our players morale up a little bit nice step over from Yenaris to start off the game there showing them yeah we got that little silkiness about our team okay go on Hayes out muscle him well done Hayes first goal of the season falls to Hayes Akpon with the assist getting involved on his debut as well that's the way we want to start the game Hayes actually got round the player there actually surprised by that because Hayes is probably one of our slowest players unfortunately our team does not have very good free kick takers right now a Saunders okay Saunders got very very good free kicks actually so let's give him a go here see if we can get close to the target oh my god <laughs> we ain't got close to the target we've got in the target <laughs> what a goal from Saunders Wow, we're starting the seed off, uh, seed season off how we wanted to. Oh, Akpom, open those legs. Well, oh, that sounded a little bit strange. <laughs> oh, Akpom, he's got the ball back. Took his time. Oh, no. How's he saved that? He saved it with his toenail. Oh, no. Oh, no, the rebound. Go on, Ingram. I think the keeper done enough. Oh, my God, he hasn't done enough. Oh, fuck. What has he just done? He's just... Nah. Nah, bro. That touch was not good there, but you need it. Oh my god. I I just, I can't. Go on, Akpom. We need this goal. Whip that back in. Hayes is there. Oh, Bluefield on the edge. Oh, no, he's just hit the keeper. He did not know anything about that. Uh, kicking off the second half. Uh, Morecambe are actually back in the game, unfortunately, but they haven't played very well at all. Uh, we've been the best team by far. Um, so hopefully we can get another goal just to give us that two goal cushion that we need. Oh my god, that was close. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> that shot was sick. Oh my god, I've generally been fucked over again. <laughs> oh, it's hit my... What has my keeper done? He's made two absolute hashes of... Oh my god, he's just threw it in his own net. Because it's, they're camped in now, look at them. They're generally camped in. 
McClure, I don't even know what happened. McClure, oh, a frame. Oh my god, where's that gone? Where's that gone? Go on, go on Akpom, get in that gap. Akpom, yes! Debut goal for Akpom. Come on. Yes, 3-2. We need this result. In the first game of the season, we need a win. Go on, McClure. You're going to have the whole pitch. McClure. Come on, McClure. Oh my god, he's missed. The whole of the front post was open. You've got to finish those, McClure. That's why you're not in the starting lineup right now. Okay, my left back is in this position here. We've got to try and get a goal. Oh my god, it didn't fall. Oh, but the final whistle is going. I'm happy with that game. We got a nice performance there out of our team, uh, which I can be happy with. We've got 3-2. Uh, the two goals that they scored, they shouldn't have really been goals. My keeper had a complete nightmare on both of them, which is pretty annoying. Uh, but we can take that. We got the win in the end, uh, so that is good. Okay, so here's the first of our free agents accepting his contract. Seeing as he's got 1,000 wages, it's a no-brainer but to sign this guy. Um, I don't know what rating it's going to be, but let's have a quick look. Um, 54, which isn't amazing, but I think he's a young age. Yeah, 20 years old, uh, with some physical stats that absolutely sick. The sprint speed, the strength, um, maybe the technical stats are not the best, uh, but in terms of like standing tackle and the stats you need for centre defensive mid, um, they are spot on. And we have Lingdo as well accepting his contract. I think this guy should be a little bit higher rated. His technical stats looked absolutely amazing. Um, so if he's in the mid 50s, I'll be happy with that. Seeing as he does play centre attacking mid, there we go, 57 rated, centre attacking mid. He's going straight in for Bloomfield, um, seeing as he's going to be more suited to that position. Uh, which we cannot complain about at all. Um, I'm going to keep Bean in here. Let's let's put in Bloomfield for Evans on the subs bench. But my first starting eleven is looking really nice now. Uh, we need to get a centre mid more suited uh, for these uh, middle roles. But Saunders looks a very very good player. He looks really really good. Um, 30 years old though, but he looks very good player. So we can't complain there. Uh, we just need to get a replacement for F-Frame. We could start listing F-Frame up. Um, yeah, let's have a look at a few players we could maybe list up. Okay, so F-Frame is actually worth £500,000, which is absolutely crazy. So I'm going to add him. Oh, I can't. I generally can't. I can't add him to the transfer list, which is really, really annoying. Uh, but seeing as we can't add him, we might as well add uh, Wood up onto the transfer list seeing as we haven't got enough left uh, left mid and we don't really need a left mid we just need centre mids, centre attacking mids and CDMs for this formation uh, to work well so technically we could get rid of the right mids as well uh, so we've got a right mid here 140,000 who's on loan so we can't sell him either um, but we got rid of him and we're going to have to get rid of a frame later on in the season I think maybe we can do it in January transfer window or maybe we'll have to wait the whole year but he's a good player anyway so I don't mind playing him in the centre mid positions uh, so that's looking pretty good hopefully we can get rid of Sam Wood to give us extra little 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 kind of injection of money maybe we can get a nice youth team set up uh, which would probably help us a lot more than just normal sign-ins uh, but yeah Thank you very much for watching this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And we'll see